Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we wonder, we wonder if we will ever learn what we have to learn to change or to help to bring change here into some uh, nat natural spot, some food forest. We are also uh, in wonder about the beauty and the natural things that are happening here. Um, this is a spot where we sowed sorghum, Sudan grass. And I cannot find one of them. So the result is zero. Um, what we do see is just the local grasses, not a single plant survived of the sorghum we have planted. Here we sowed some bird seed, bird feed on this rehabilitated erosion gully and I can see some sunflower and I can see some mice, some corn and then I see a lot of grasses this is like a piece and this is the anthena, the home oak, many of them and especially there on the uh, drier part a lot of grass but it's just the local grass and the dogs love to eat this. How is it Sky? A lot of local grass, these seed heads, some of them almost two meters tall. Here we have some rye that we actually just throughout here to stabilize this berm of this canal and they are growing a lot of grass here and uh, the taller ones they are the oats that we sowed already last year and they didn't grow that strongly but at least they are producing their seeds some more oats seed heads not much abundance in the seed heads this is the local grass it just came up by themselves. So this oats, we sowed it last year already and we just broke three centimeters of the surface of the soil. Some more local grass. Beautifully filled seed heads. This is oats that we sowed two years ago. And these replanted themselves. And uh, 
This was in the shade of this old core tree and a lot of water here from the area closest to the um, creek where some additional water came in. Some more local grasses. Some oats that uh, got spread here by nature. These are clumps of rye that also got self-sown. We sowed here uh, two years ago. And then here and there it did grow. Some more local grasses. Here we have some more rye on top of the berm. They are about two and a half meters higher than where I stand, but about a meter of that is the berm. This we planted the a week before Christmas on the naked berm. There was nothing else. The Sarai looks beautiful. Many local grasses amongst the flowers. Some more rye. This was planted on the naked, just completed berm. There was no other plants growing at that time on this berm. Also planted uh, around about Christmas, new here. This is where it really gets interesting. Some more rye. We sowed two years ago and this came up by itself. Then this whole area here, we planted five kilos of alfalfa, about 20 kilos of wheat, and uh, not a single plant. This is the interesting thing for me that we have a lot of local grasses and we only tilled three centimeters of the soil that had some growth on it and nothing came from our planting is one oats I don't know where that seed comes from. We try to experiment to see which line, uh, lower each line was lower than the uh, 
swale to see how far does this water infiltration reach but I think we got bombed out because nothing actually grew of what we planted I have to conclude a few things and I might be very wrong it will take quite a few seasons for me to learn what there is to learn um, do not mix the seeds or the planting with existing planting existing plants growth is much more vigorous adapted and it's much more powerful it doesn't give our cultured seeds a chance to grow so I will have to plow it properly if I want to have any result of my wheat, rye, oats, sorghum planting and then another conclusion is that I will have to do it in autumn not in spring we have planted alfalfa three times now and we never had anything from it so let's hope we have learned something next time here on this berm of the swale we have the Andalusian pistachio and then we have placed a few hundred slips of sweet potatoes wherever we found a spot and uh, most of them are growing Another pistachio and then some local grass, the prickly pears are making more pads, we have planted uh, perhaps 50 of them, happy sight. Here on the farm we plant a lot of things, we experiment, we have planted uh, what is called here Roble Americano, a uh, American oak, hundred of them, they all died, we planted a hundred eucalyptus nitens, seven of them survived and then we planted a hundred Paulovnia, 97 of them survived. It's good, it's good, we can see what is happening. This is a pine that we planted as well. And this is the Almeth. and the rosemary is doing brilliantly this is the next part of the installation of the irrigation we now have a design we have a recipe so we now copy that and I'm sure we will still have a lot of surprises but uh, this is what it's all about. The dogs are in the shade. The sun is strong. 
the temperature is not that high it's actually quite cool ish uh, 17 18 degrees celsius but in the sun especially <laughs> the border collies on their black coat We have learned to keep planting, to observe, 